What's up, guys? We are back with the vlogs, the first vlog of 2021. So I was originally not going to start the vlog today, but I thought this would be a good time to actually start it. Lately, I've been shooting this Roku TV show for the fan club for NASCAR, and they invited me down to one of the practices tomorrow to fly FPV with the NASCARs on the track, which is awesome. So I'm supposed to be going to Riverhead Raceway tomorrow, and I was going to start the vlog on the way there tomorrow, but I thought this would be a good time to start it since uh, I went out for a test flight today and some interesting things happened, so why don't you check this out. <laughs> Alright, so right now I've just been packing my bag up, getting the gear, what I can get in here. Um, but earlier I decided I would take the, I wouldn't say new, but my newer FPV drone that I built, which was designed to be waterproof and float. For like, because you guys know I shoot on the water a lot. But I took it out for a flight today because I haven't really pushed this thing to see how fast it can go. I always, usually when I fly this one, I'm usually flying around 60 miles per hour the most. So I wanted to see how fast this could go because I'm going to be flying with NASCARs tomorrow. I need to be able to go fast. I took this to the field today and I got it up to 90 miles per hour. The only thing is, at 90 miles per hour, this thing's a heavy, heavy FPV drone. That thing's way overweight. So, at 90 miles per hour, it killed the battery like that. Long story short, the drone was 200 feet in the air, it dropped, and hit the ground hard. This is my Hero 9. Looks okay, if you look at it, but when you turn it on, the screen is like internally cracked. So, that's a big loss right there. Also, uh, you can see, but my DJI air unit, the wire snapped. So that's also a wire I can't really solder because it's like a coaxial cable or fiber cable, I don't even know. But it's something I can't really solder. So I ordered a new cable. That's not gonna come until Sunday though. And the GoPro, I'm gonna have to order a new one or see if, I don't know if I have the GoPro Care still, but I'm gonna try to get that replaced. Um, so this drone's out of commission for this shoot. Now on the bright side, I still have my old drone. Now this one's still running on, this one runs on the new DJI system with the, the new DJI controller. I just got, just in time for the shoot, but unfortunately I won't be using it. I just got the new Lumineer Axie antennas for my goggles, so that's a disappointment I can't use that. So we're going back to analog for tomorrow's shoot. We got the Fast Sharks, and we're going to use my own, my old uh, Tyrannus X7 and run it with the old FPV drone and run the Hero 6 on this thing. Now this isn't that bad because this drone actually is a lot quicker than that one and it can actually go fast for a longer time too. Because this one weighs with the with the GoPro and the battery on it all together weighs the same weight as this without a GoPro and battery. This one's good for cinematic shots but we need this guy for tomorrow. So I'm getting this thing up and running and if you can hear that loud noise behind me that is my 3D printer over here, printing a new mount for the Hero 6 because I need a lot more tilt. And see, I made this one where it's got the adjustable tilt there. I can't really do it with one hand, but it's got adjustable tilt on that. This one is a fixed tilt, so it's not enough tilt for what I need for this shoot. We need more tilt to go fast, so we got that printing over there. And that should be able to give me a little more tilt. I use my digital caliper, measure that, redesign that with that little gap, with a little filler for that gap. So we'll have that nice tilt. So, so yeah, that's what we're kind of dealing with right now. Uh, so now I'm just continuing to pack up the bag, get that batteries charged. I got some batteries charging down here. I got the the big mountain board battery charging over here. I'm going to use that to plug it to power this so then I can continue to charge all my FPV batteries so we'll never run out of battery life here so that's cool we'll have that going on the on the side of the track so yeah guys I figured I'd just share that with you and uh, tell you what's going on because I know someone was gonna comment saying oh I'm surprised you didn't switch to digital yet I just don't have digital with me uh, I need my lens. so yeah I'll also have my buddy John joining us uh, you might already know him by now if you see my Colorado vlog. That's actually a pretty funny story about the Colorado vlog. I actually completely forgot about that. I've been so busy with uh, client work that I completely, uh, I went to Colorado and filmed that. 
vlog. So I'm putting that vlog together right now and I'm gonna put that up before this vlog. So we're still in chronological order. And um, yeah, so you guys are gonna know John already from that. I, I taught him a lot about filming and everything so he kinda knows my system. So I'm gonna be handing the camera to him so he could vlog or shoot the vlog and kind of shoot behind the scenes for me so we can get some cool shots while I'm flying on the track. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right, so let's transition to the part where we're driving to the track. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. You made it. We're here. All right, we're, we're late, we gotta go. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, charge to Riverhead Raceway. <laughs> we're gonna race to the Riverhead Raceway. Made it. Yeah, uh, here, finally made it to the track. There's our guys right there. That's the, the big truck. Biggest truck here. So we just walked over, talked to some of the guys over there, and we now have full permission to fly the FPV drone on the track. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be flying with him. You're just gonna fly with him? Yeah. All right, and you're yeah, good so, up here? Yeah, I mean, as long as I don't have anything like a fence blocking me, I'm all right. Come right over here, it's fine with you. Yeah, Perfect. if I get right into the fence, I can get the whole okay. track here. Do what you do. All right, thank, thank you, sir. What's Dave gonna do? He's just doing a couple laps. He's just gonna follow him with the race drone and get some cool shots of it. Okay. Yeah. But I am going to really set this Whoa. up. day for one battery pack, one car, but 
definitely with the NASCAR. All right, guys, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. We got one battery pack, but that was it. Honestly, I'm not complaining because it technically we shouldn't have been able to do it in the first place. Yeah. Oh. So that was cool that we actually got to do that. Yep. So we're gonna pack this stuff up real quick and be out.